Hello friends, it's Sherry from Turquoise Dreaming. How's everybody doing tonight? Welcome to my channel and thank you for joining me. I'm here with a finished flip through of this rose journal, which was, uh, I guess it's a shabby chic rose birdhouse bird journal. But besides that, uh, it was my design team project for Shabby Dabby Doodah. So in my first video where I shared this uh, cover and uh, the kits I was using I you know linked all the everything below so I will link those below this video too but uh, I just loved working with the this these the kits it was about six of them <laughs> that I uh, worked with uh, for this journal and uh, I have lots of extra pieces so I plan on using the rest of it for my uh, it would be September I believe this is July design team project so my next one will be due in September so anyway let's get started with a flip through on this so this uh, you know besides the kits I printed the kits out at 90 percent and then I came and to my craft room and looked for a book and I knew I had one I figured I had one that was around that size so I, sure enough it fit right on like this this page here fit right on this cover without me trimming the paper or the book so that worked out very well and this is the was the color of the book here I believe this one was uh, 1918 this book and it was just the perfect color for this kit because you can see the book uh, edges here around uh, the edge of the you know the paper so it's uh, sewn around the edges and I described in the first video I think it was the first or second video that uh, I had to sew on the very edge because this cover would not let me it's, it's like super hard and my needle wouldn't go through it but it would go through if I stayed on the very edge so apparently the edge was a little softer <laughs> not much because it didn't didn't go through really easy like the other books that I've been sewing on and so I did you know uh, it's got a, the book hard hardback book base with the kit over it. This beautiful paper, and I've got a, a vintage doily here, the, and a little rose that I got. I cut this off of another doily, so it just went so well with the flowers in this cover, as you can see, and the colors. So, and then I had put this beautiful trim here, which was coffee dyed. I coffee dyed it. I have it in my stash, but it's not coffee dyed. I coffee dyed it especially for this project to kind of match this doily because this is the natural color of this doily. I didn't uh, coffee dye it or anything. That's the color it was when I got it. And so then I uh, actually sewed. I was debating on whether to sew on the spine. I did. I did in it. This this thread that I was using it goes so well you can hardly even see that it's sewn, but it is sewn here and in the like groove here around the spine on the top and in you know in the other groove so this is sewn around here so i came think the cover came out really nice i did a hitch post post closure so it's got the hitch post over here and it's got an eyelet over here and i got some of these solid uh, hair ties that you use for this i didn't have before i had the ones with the metal on them and then I discovered I was like why why not why don't I get some of these without the metal <laughs> you know <laughs> and so I did so I have one for this now and I have a you know a package now so I just got those this week so let's get started with the flip through here uh, so inside the cover the paper was so beautiful and someone that gets this can put a pocket or anything they want here inside the cover in fact I'm gonna send along a little and I don't think I have it right here, but it's a little uh, name plate that someone can put right here if they want. If I can find it real quick, uh, this might be, is this it? It's something like this. This is not it. I've already cut it out. It's kind of like this shape here. And so it's, it says something here that you can, you know, so you can put it right here and add your date, name, whatever you might want to add. But it's here in my pile of extras that I will pull out when I get my hands on it I would like to get my hands on it right oh I think I see it this is it right here yeah just is this shape and it had these lines on it so I thought I'd send that along for someone in case 
I was going to put it there, and I thought, you know, I'll just send it along in case whoever gets this doesn't want it there. They can put it on a page, or they can put it here, or, you know, somewhere on this if they want. So that will be coming along with the journal, with the other goodies that come along with this journal, the surprise pack. But the same little trim here that is in, is in the inside spine that's on the outside right here. Okay, so, and then this, I thought this just made a really pretty uh, front page with this lady on it. She's very, uh, you know, old-fashioned, antique, Victorian, shabby chic looking. So, and I did round all the corners and distressed around all of the edges because this, this kit just called for it. You know what I mean? It has that look, so... So I went ahead and it did it did get quite bulky with especially after I put in the ephemera so I didn't put a ton of ephemera in each pocket because it would have been twice as big as this. <laughs> and so uh, you know it was pretty much good before I put the ephemera on then it got got a little little bulky there. but uh, I had a lot of fun uh, doing this journal. So on the second page here, I have a little closure or fold out. It's like a triple fold out here. It's in the shape of a tag and it's, it's a page from the one of the kits and I coffee dyed it and then put it in here as a, a pretty fold out. So it's from the birdhouse and birds. Of course it's got flowers on there too and it just folds up like that and then I have a little tie on here just uh, kind of like for some private journaling or you can put pictures in there. I just thought that was a fun thing and then this little lady I had saved her from a book and I put her right here on this music page. On this side is where the pocket is. One of the many few pockets in here that I have with this pretty like wedding lace. It's been coffee dyed and that's on you know music page. This is the guest check we did together in I think the second video. So that is in this pocket that came out really cute. You can write on the back of that or on the front. There's some some lines showing there. And that was a fabric butterfly that we cut out together and put down there uh, from some upholstery fabric that I had. A ledger page here. And this is, uh, I think this is either coffee dyed or avocado dyed. But here's some more of that upholstery here. I cut out a few pieces and used it throughout the journal. And it was so pretty and went so well with this journal that I just cut, cut a couple pieces out there to decorate that page. And this is a little music page with a, with a couple of decorations from the kits. So so pretty. It just goes so. I just love that how it, uh, that contrasted the old music and these beautiful flowers and tickets here from Tina's kit. This is a beautiful page here with the blue. That's from the birdhouse. As you can see, there's a birdhouse there, and it's pretty, pretty blue on the back. This is from one of the receipt kits, the Rylands Brothers receipts and put a little tuck spot here with a flip up and I've got some tatting there to decorate that and some ledger paper here. Uh, this is a little piece from the invoice. This is the Marples invoices where I just, this is three layers on here that I made into a journaling, like a journaling card, but then I sewed it on here also. You can write on the back of it, but it's sewn on here as a little tab, but it is sewn on. This is some writ dyed paper here with one of the pieces from the kit that is just used to decorate like you can write on here maybe put a little date or you know a little separate note on there and it folds around it's kind of like a little ticket that in it you know it was just perfect to fold around that page the way it was shaped i thought that worked out so well this is some vintage onion skin that i had picked up at a uh an estate sale and this is the charm that I, if you saw my BB Craft video, the second project, this was from that. If you didn't see that, you might want to check that out because this was so fun to make. A little kind of a metal chain here on the bottom, which I made into fringe or a tassel. And then we've got a bronze butterfly that was from BB Craft. And the uh, the chain was from, from BB Craft and these bead uh caps here. There, uh, let me show you up close because I know it's hard to see when it's kind of far away like that. So, and it's all hanging on a pin on this pretty kind of uh, eyelet uh, ruffle here that is sewn on 
And also I used the jump rings on here from BB Craft. So that was a fun, fun project. I, I never did anything like that, made a metal tass tassel before. So that was uh, something I just, I hadn't seen anyone else do it. I just thought, you know, wouldn't it be cool to make a metal tassel, <laughs> you know? So uh, these are some of the butterflies and dragonflies from BB Craft too that I put I used as, you know, little decorations on signature strings. And this page has an envelope here with a heart paper clip. Uh, this has some trim, and I just made a little postage stamp out of some of the pieces and a little bird there. This says Home Tweet Home here on this, and this opens up and you can put something in there or whatever you want. I just thought that was a pretty little envelope there to have fun with, and that is sewn together. So that was just paper clipped on there with this heart paper clip. And then here's some more of that trim onion skin here. So we're on the back half of the first signature. Here's another one of those tickets that I folded over. This has the small half on the front this time and a bigger piece on the back, which is pretty fl a floral ticket. And then here's a vintage uh, playing card. I guess I showed you, the one on the other side too was of a vintage playing card. I guess I showed you that, didn't I? Where is it right? Oh, this was the, uh, okay, that's why I didn't remember because this was the journaling card. Okay, I was trying to remember why I didn't point out the other playing card because there wasn't one. <laughs> okay, this is one of the receipts. A pretty blue page there. And this is a belly band. Uh, this is sewn on and it has the big journaling card that was uh, from the time card that we made together. I believe I made this together with you on a video. It's got a piece of the cutoff from the ruffled eyelet trim there and the bird and the birdhouse. Several layers there, but they came out real pretty. And of course you can write on the back. Nice big journaling spot. And you can even write all over here if you want or add something else into the belly band. Some more ledger paper. And this is another wedding lace pocket here on music page another one of the little invoices that I made into like a journaling card with three layers there paper and cardstock this is the back page of the first signature and I made a little fold out here it's hinged with paper so that it's all together and I didn't want to uh, cover up anything with washi or anything I didn't really have any washi that would match this so I used coffee dyed paper in here from my hinges and it looks more, you know, like it belongs with the journal. So, and there's lots of lines here, lots of space in here. And then you have the back page right here. And then we go move on to the second signature where we start with a pretty page here. And this is a little music paper with, um, all the music paper in here I believe has been coffee dyed. And I even, it even has some writing on it. It's pretty cool. I like to see people's notes because these were, music books that I picked up at either a thrift store or some that my mom gave me uh, that she used when she uh, played the piano and sang and things so that's cool I think to see the notes this was from a kit uh, an ephemera kit that my co-worker gave me and I thought this button was so pretty that I wanted to use it in here it matched the kit so well so I put it right there as a little decoration another piece of wedding lace here on this pocket this, uh, these, there, there were four pictures in this kit and I thought they were so cool. I wanted to use them all in here. So I did and made journaling cards and, uh, sewed around the edges. I just wanted that, I just wanted that sewn look on there. And plus it secures it together, you know, very sturdily there. So coffee dyed paper, music. On this page, I have some uh, coffee dyed, uh, pom-pom trim. It was white until it was coffee dyed. I thought that came out well. That was the first time I coffee dyed white pom-pom trim. Some more of the invoice writ dyed paper here. Whoops. And this one I did something a little different. I was, uh, you know, I've been putting little tabs and things on my fold outs and I was like, what, how can I, because I wanted to put, I wanted to use a library, this library card catalog card. I think they're so cool. I just really love these. And these are, you know, actual real vintage cards, you know, that I pick, picked up somewhere. And so I didn't want to waste the back. I didn't want to glue it down. So I put a hinge on here. So you kind of have like a little private spot here and behind. 
and then you know you can fold it back and then you have all this space here so I thought that was kind of a neat thing and kind of a different I hadn't seen did anyone do that of course it's probably similar to something right <laughs> so here's some of that upholstery I did make some pockets out of that in here too that's sewn on isn't that beautiful here is a uh, postcard I think I made this one uh, I don't know if it's copy or what, but it's on a file folder, so I don't remember if I glued it on there or just printed it out, but I probably copied one of my actual originals because it's what it looks like. So that was cool as a drawing card. Ledger paper, and here's a pretty card. I had a few of these, and they matched, the colors matched so well with this journal. I put them in here, sewed it on here, and then you have plenty of room back here. And that's copy dyed, or this is copy dyed, of course, on the back. And this is the middle of the next signature where I also have in each, on all the strings, I have butterflies and dragonflies. So here's these two. So pretty. Here's another one of those ladies. And this is a fold out here. And this is a little pocket here, the upholstery fabric pocket. And another one of the pictures that I told you about on, this one's on a file folder and it's sewn around. I just wanted to put it on a file folder so it could be something that I could distress and that could be written on. You know what I mean? I wanted it to be a journaling card. I didn't want to put it, sometimes I put them on black cardstock, but then, you know, you can't really write on that unless you have a white pen or something. White gel pen. So here's the onion skin, and here's the other uh, library card, catalog card, where I did it, put it on here with a hinge again. And it's the other side of that one paper where it's a fold out and then this folds out also so that's on there with that hinge I did a little bit of decorating here and there with some of the pieces as you can see and trim here and here's some more decorating right here I got a, there's there are some really pretty tickets in there and then there's the birds and then we have another flip up here that is also a tuck spot with some of that it looks like tatting to me and then a tag that we made together on one of my videos uh, with some of the uh, pieces from the kit and that is in there another wedding lace pocket here on this music page and this is a piece of um, this is a postcard we just I just did this the other day on my uh, scrappy Saturday video where I was working with scraps and this postcard was in my scraps and I needed to recover it because it wasn't wasn't nice on the front it was coming apart actually and like the it was like two layers or something and this front layer was starting to come off or tear or something so I just recovered it with some pieces and I think it came out really pretty and then you still have the original back to look at and the stamp and everything so I thought that was cool um, yeah you can still you can see the tear right here too so if you want to put tape or something on there you can I didn't I just put a layer over here to help sturdy it up but um, you can see where it was coming through here so whoever gets this if you want to put tape there to preserve that or I mean I could but I just want to leave that for whoever got it so this is the back page of the second signature where I put an envelope here now this little butterfly here holds the flap down. You can just tuck the flap in between his uh, little wings there. In here I have another one of the pictures. And uh, these pictures were really fun actually to, to um, you know, put on cardstock or whatever. So I put on a file folder. And then this one I put some coffee dyed paper on the back, sewed around it. But it's so cool because if you can see the spots here, this is how it printed out with these spots like actually an actual old picture so then I distressed it and kind of like what I call messy distressed it so that I added to the spots you know what I mean looks like it, it was always all together like this almost so I thought that turned out really cool so that is in there and then behind here I have a little tuck spot right here and there's a card in here this is a pretty just kind of a uh, I've got this at a thrift store it opens up like this so there's plenty of room in here to do something and uh, this is actually a place in North Carolina called Old Salem in Winston-Salem and it's just a really uh, it is they are old buildings there I've been I've been there once since I lived here and 
it's kind of like a tourist spot where you can go through the old buildings and see how they used to do things uh, a long time ago in North Carolina. <laughs> One of those type places, so pretty cool. Okay, third signature. Uh, we've got a pretty birdhouse here with a little bird. These these uh, this, these kits are so pretty. I decorated this. You can see music page here with another wedding lace pocket and another picture. This one has copy dyed paper on the back. It's layered with um, this file folder. See, I, you've probably heard me say, and if you're new to my channel, I recycle file folders from my office. I rescue them from the trash, right? <laughs> so sometimes they have writing on them, and that's what this one had on it. And the other one that I put copy dyed paper on had writing on the back, so I still used it. I uh, put the picture on this side and then covered up the back side where the writing was with some copy dyed paper and then sewed around it and distressed it. So that's why that has three layers instead of two, just the picture and the, cop and the file folder. So uh, as we move on, you can see more pretty pages. That's a receipt. So this one I put like two receipts together. I sew them together, you know, kind of, so I, I put them together, rounded the corners, distressed, all that, like a normal page, normal two pages. Then I sewed them together, so I sewed them across the top, I sewed them across the middle, and I sewed them across the bottom, so I could have two pockets here. So there's two little, like, finger spots here where you can pull out a tag. I just want to do, you know, I like to do different things in each journal and make each one different. So it has a, you know, a journaling card in here, a little tag in this one, and the other side is going to have pockets too. You'll see that when we get to that. So here's the writ dyed paper in this one. This one has a little butterfly tab. There, something different. You know, I don't want to do it all the same in all the signatures. Uh, here's the ruffle. I just put two ruffles in here. I didn't want to make it too frilly, but a little bit, you know, to go with the shabby chic feeling. Uh, ledger paper here with that. These are really pretty uh, playing cards here that's sewn on as a tab. And then here's the middle with the butterfly and the dragonfly right here let me get them up here so pretty and then here we are on the back half of the third signature this uh journal is approximately five by seven and i have all the measurements and a number of pages in the listing here's some trim on this page and this is onion skin paper writ dyed you know and this little this is a little uh, game card here that was from a kids game about money <laughs> so that is on there as a tab but uh okay here's the other side of that page with the pockets you know the two receipts i sewed together so this is the journaling card in this pocket and there's a journaling card in this pocket and it's pretty easy to access with that little finger hole there that's a little postcard in there a little, like a mini postcard so yeah so in the pages there's three signatures and i think there was uh, about 20 pages in each signature, and if you count fronts and backs, that would be 40 pages in each signature. So, um, but I added, you know, I kept adding a, a one or two here and there. So there's a little over uh, 120 pages, something like that, in here. Here's some of the upholstery. I want to do something different in this signature. You know, each I didn't want to make each signature the same. You know what I mean? I wanted to meet, you know, you use some of the same elements, but do different things so this is what I did with the upholstery in this one I made a little trim here with these they are pinking sheared cut around the little squares here and just sewed them on this page as a pretty trim that just is some gorgeous gorgeous upholstery here's the wedding pocket here in this back half and I have a little coaster in there here it just went with this kit so well I had to or this book this journal I had to put it in here so you can do whatever you want with this, but it's a little birdhouse, bird coaster. I mean, isn't it pretty on both sides? It has the birdhouse on there. I just thought that was so perfect for this journal. <laughs> so stuck it in there. So here's a flip up, flip down here in the back of this, you know, signature and almost to the back of the journal here, but it just folds up. There's a little piece of lace here and a pocket behind, and there's a tag in there. That's one of my scrappy tags and it's sewn around. So pretty. And here we are at the back. So that is it. That was totally fun and I just love how it turned out. I love the sewing on here. I'm so glad I 
you know, was able to sew on at least on the edge, a straight stitch on the edge, but it still makes a big difference in uh, not sewing and sewing. I just love how that looks. And this book, like I said, was the perfect color. So it all came together really well. It's already in my shop. Thanks for watching today. I hope you enjoyed that and I will see you next time. Happy crafting.